Five, four, three, two, one. So the news broke on March 20th, 2018, that apparently the US had been greenlit to set up a military base here in Ghana. Both the US Embassy here in Ghana and Ghana's Defense Ministry issued statements saying that this information is not correct. In reality, the US and Ghana are only planning to strengthen security ties and hold joint military exercises. The US has announced plans to invest $20 million for this purpose. This naturally requires that the US is allowed access to Ghana's military facilities. Ghanaians, however, are not letting go of the issue that easily. My name is Geraldine and this is Top 5 on Yen. We present to you five public reactions to the news of the US possibly gaining more power in our country. 1. Jerry John Rollins weighs in on the deal. Ghana's former president, Jerry John Rollins, is cautious about this deal. In a tweet, he said Ghanaians have had enough foreigners controlling the social and economic environment. 2. Hassan Ayariga is willing to pay to stop the deal. The APC founder, Hassan Ayariga, also shared his thoughts on the development. He says he's willing to pay the government $20 million if that stops the deal. He goes further to call the US soldiers gays who marry themselves. According to Ayariga, Ghanaians are at risk of seeing these military officials marry your fathers, your mothers, and even yourselves. 3. Atik warns to be careful. In a radio interview, PNC's Mohamed Atik says the deal is not a bad thing. He, however, called on the Defense Ministry and the MPP and NDC MPs to review the agreement very carefully. He said, the US military presence could make Ghana a target for terrorism. This is a matter of national interest. We will sign this and it will become a burden on us, Atik said. 4. Ghanaians are wary of the U.S. taking too much control. Justice Tremsai, a Harvard graduate and lecturer, wrote a polarizing Facebook post. In the post, he says the Ghanaian laws would not apply to the U.S. military forces, which means we will not know what they will do. Yet someone tells you it's not a military base, and you're then nodding your head, and you think you're all right, he asked. 5. Security analysts fear increased risk of terror attacks. Vladimir Entridanso also commented on the issue. According to him, the US military activities in Ghana would increase the risk of terror attacks. There are several global hiccups and you become a target because of that type of cooperation, he said. So what do you think about this deal? Leave your comments below. Also watch our top 10 hottest discussed Ghanaian pastors and our top 5 insults by Ghanaian politicians. So like this video and subscribe to Yen's YouTube channel.